Thank you so much, Miss Christina, for making this checklist. There's no way Mr. Muffins and I would have ever remembered all these things. It's Take a Tip Tuesday. If you're a home buyer, you're gonna want this walkthrough checklist. Hi, my name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer for Ascension Parish. And if you're a home buyer, you might be at the stage where you're going through the walkthrough. I know many home buyers get pretty excited about this and they go through their walkthrough, they do a quick once around and they don't really take a good look at all the things that they should be. In this week's video, I'm gonna be highlighting nine major things that you should be looking for when you're going through your home walkthrough. I'm also gonna give you a useful PDF that you can download and I'll leave you the link in the description. It's free, it goes straight to my blog and you'll be able to get that and download it and print it. I'm ready for the walkthrough and I brought the checklist. I would recommend all buyers bring their home inspector with them, but if you can't bring your home inspector, there's two things I want you to bring with you. One is a pen and paper. Well, I guess it's gonna be three things. And the third thing I want you to bring is your inspection summary report. I want you to bring that with you so that way you can go through everything that was in that inspection summary report and see if the things that they were supposed to be repaired are actually repaired. I know this sounds silly and it might even seem obvious to you, but bring your cell phone because it has a cell phone camera on it. If you don't have a cell phone camera, go ahead and bring your camera with you. There might be things that come up when you're going through your walkthrough that didn't come up during the home inspection. The sellers may have moved out of the house and some things that might have happened. So you want to have something that you can prove to them that there is this problem with the house that needs to be addressed before closing. So bring your camera or bring your cell phone and take some good pictures. Even better, you can even take small little video clips to show them exactly what you're talking about. Oh my God, Miss Christina, they took the tree and they left that stupid umbrella. When you first arrive to the house, that you're about to purchase, the first thing I want you to do is actually take a walk around the house. I want you to actually check to see if they've left everything that they were supposed to leave. For instance, like they were supposed to remove a swimming pool in the backyard or a fountain, or they actually left all the shrubbery and plants in the flower beds. I've had it happen in the past where some of the sellers have removed plants, big giant trees, because they were attached to them when their child was born, they planted a tree and then right before closing, they pulled out the tree and they didn't tell the buyers. So go ahead and take that whole tour around the house and make sure everything is in the ground that's supposed to be and everything that's off the property is supposed to be off the property. I know this isn't gonna align with your cheat, Mr. Muffins, but we're gonna have to turn on the heat right now. Now that you've taken that tour on the outside, I want you to come inside and the first thing I want you to do is to check the um, thermostat. I want you to go over there and turn on the heat. I know right now it's really hot outside, but go ahead and make sure that the heating system works. And if it's cold outside, doesn't matter, go ahead and make sure the air conditioning works as well. It's one of those things that happens, you don't even realize it's gonna happen. When I sold my house, uh, the air conditioning for some reason stopped working. Luckily I had a home warranty for the buyer so that it was covered. They didn't have anything to worry about. If you haven't heard about home warranties, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you a link right here and you can hear about home warranties. But they do help if there's any kind of issue like that uh, prior to closing. This was the last one. All safe and sound, Mr. Muffins. We're ready to move in. Now that you've checked the heat and the air conditioning, I want you to start flicking on lights. I want you to go through every area. This is one of those projects kids love. You're gonna go through every single room and turn on all the lights and make sure all the switches are working. And while you're at it, I want you to check all the windows. If the home is vacant, sometimes when sellers leave, they don't realize they've opened a window and not all the doors and windows have been locked. So make sure that everything is locked and secured the way it's supposed to be because you don't want to start moving your stuff in go out for dinner and then come back and have all your stuff stolen ew there's all sorts of stuff in oh my gosh this stinks so bad oh. now it's time to go look in the kitchen I want you to open up the refrigerator and make sure that all the items in the refrigerator have been removed I've had that happen too and I've been dumping out old food from the freezer because the sellers were in such a hurry they had forgotten about the food that was in the refrigerator then I want you to go under the sink everything looks good under here check it off the list open the sink and make sure there's nothing leaking under there sometimes when sellers are removing items from under the sink they will jar a pipe and it's not intentional and they'll start it will start a leak and if you have five days prior to closing and that's leaking for five days you could have a real mess by the time you actually move in the house so open up that cabinet door and look underneath and make sure nothing Things leaking. I know you said to go in the attic, Miss Christina, but I have to tell you that this is making my chi very uncomfortable. One last place I want you to check is the attic. I want you to go upstairs and see if they've removed everything that was in storage up there. I've had it happen before where uh, a seller had left all their Christmas supplies. 
you know, it just can be quite a mess and it can be a lot for a buyer to have to clean up. So you wanna make sure that those items have been removed. Hey, Miss Christina, I don't think those are Tic Tacs up here. Oh, and when you're up in the attic looking for all those extra things that the sellers might have left behind, make sure they don't have any roommates up there either. Sometimes when people start moving stuff around, they don't realize that they might have a rodent problem. I've had that happen before too, so check to make sure there's no pet droppings somewhere. So go look in the attic. Thank you so much, Miss Christina, for making this checklist. There's no way Mr. Muffins and I would have ever remembered all these things. We decided that we're gonna make a new Doga move just for you. You can see it on Instagram. I know when you go through your final walkthrough, it's a pretty exciting time. You're only a few days away from actually closing on your house. And you might come up with some surprises when you come through the final walkthrough. But these are not things to worry about. Your realtor can handle anything that has come up during your final walkthrough. Just make sure you have the right documentation. Make sure you download the PDF that I put in the blog post for your checklist. And if anything does come up, it can all be fixed with an addendum and some conversation. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer for Ascension Parish. And I tell you all this because you matter. What things on the checklist did you not know about? Let us know in the comments section. If you wanna watch some more buying tips, you can go ahead and click the playlist over here. And always make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Mr. Muffin says it's good for your chi if you hit the bell. If you're a home buyer, you're gonna to wanna to want, ugh.